Many of the families that we see have been through a lot. Parents come to us and say, our kid can't read. Our child can't remember. You see children who are deaf, paralyzed, have seizures. She had her first seizure. It was a horrible sight. He came out of surgery, he couldn't even sit up. He would throw tantrums at the drop of a hat. There were days that he'd hide under his desk. We didn't know what we were looking at. They have been to many different doctors, many different therapists. He had private speech therapy twice a week, group speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy. Genetic specialists, developmental specialists. She had been to every department, neurology, metabolism, endocrinology. Medical doctors are typically taught how to cut and how to prescribe drugs. I just wanted it to stop. Somebody do something for this baby and they gave her medicine, symphenobarbital. They're great, they have their place. I'm not, uh, we still see medical doctors, we're not shunning them by any case, but realize that they also, in many cases, have their limitations. Nobody presented us with any of the other options. It was, how do you fix ADHD? Put kids on drugs. It just felt hopeless. For us at the Family Hope Center, we really don't like to use classical diagnosis. Putting a label on a child. Cerebral palsy, ADD, ADHD. Learning disabilities. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Autism. Mental retardation. Dyslexia. Oftentimes, a label can really hurt a family. We really didn't have any hope that things were ever going to change. That is a hammer that hurts a family. We were just, oh my god, what are we going to do? And leaves them away from hope. Some people who know that there is hope. Whether they're blind or whether they're paralyzed or whether they have seizures, it's simply an injury to the central nervous system. Any stage of development is really run by the brain, so it's a neurological function. Knowing that helps us to get to the root of the problem. See, this program is all about brain. The premise of the program was rather than focus on the symptom, focus on the problem. It's not let's strengthen his legs so he can stand. It's about the brain. Go to the root and start untangling the wires. So anything neurological would be related to their brain growth and their development. But what Family Hope Center said was, we know how to help whatever part of the brain is injured, we can help that part of the brain heal. Many people think that the brain is a mystery. Well, I would say that was true if we looked at the mind. The mind is kind of a mystery. But the actual structure of growth is very uncomplicated. Science is, is showing that the brain grows if you stimulate it. If you stimulate the brain with increased intensity, frequency, and duration of stimulation, and you bring to bear excellent nutrition, you bring to bear oxygen, you bring to bear sensory stimulation and motor opportunity, the physical chunk of brain will actually mature. Recent research shows that neurons can grow. And you can grow new pathways. We have found over 30 years is that the brain can be restored. We are unique in that we teach families how to be a therapist. Their statement was, you and Colleen are the best people to treat your child because you have the greatest motivation. And we teach specifically step by step. We coach them. What it is that the parents need to do. We counsel them. On a daily basis. So what they did is they gave us the tools. We teach the families. And the techniques. We empower the families. Showed us how to do them. Because we teach them not only what they should do to create greater development, but what's happening in the brain. And when we need help, we, can, we know we can call. As parents, Sue and I, we want to put in whatever energy it takes now for the possibility and the hope that our child will be as good as he could possibly be. We find the families do an incredible job. The difference with the program that we follow here at the Family Hope Center is that we follow a very integral approach. Their approach was coordinated. The comprehensive program that we provide involves a physical program to grow them neurologically, an intellectual program, a social program, a nutrition program, and any medical care. It wasn't a bunch of specialists looking at their own area of expertise. We went to a doctor who follows Jacob, um, Bernardo Marzaldi. He's also the medical director of the Family Hope Center. Because when we saw Bernardo, the first thing he did was, all right, we're going to take some blood tests and we're going to find out what his sensitivities are. We do not focus just on speech or just on whether the child is able to uh, sit 
or eat by themselves. We look at all those different components and then we develop a program to organize the parts of the brain that are responsible for those functions. They taught us how to get him to move. There was no movement. And he moved. We design a solution, we modify the solution, and then every six months the child will come back and we'll reassess his neurological age. The first stage that we have families go through when they come to us at the Family Hope Center is to come to our seminar. We have a three-day seminar for children with special needs. We want parents not to be confused. When we went to the seminar, I was very skeptical. I didn't want to have our emotions toyed with. I didn't want to get too hopeful and then find out that it was just another dead end. We took the three-day seminar. My husband said, you can never sit through that. I was, I was just, the information was just just give it to me. So I began to at least listen to what they had to say. And looking back, it was what I needed to hear. I needed to hear some hard science. The information that was given to us there was like, you mean there is hope? After families come to see us at the three-day seminar, they then come back, um, many of them, for a two-day evaluation. They go through uh, the different members of the team and we assess different levels of function. When we came for the evaluation, they took a unique approach. Rather than taking a static view, they did a functional assessment. They have a whole chart where they can see the abilities each child should have. Through this chart, the families are able to first start reading the different functions, starting from uh, seeing and reading, hearing and understanding, sensation and tactility, locomotion and mobility. Matthew and Carol said, you know, the reason your daughter is like this, instead of trying to correct it from the outside, the problem is inside. Communication and speech. He didn't understand what we were saying. It's like, ma, 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 ma. Manual and writing, emotional and social. It gives us a very scientific view of where the child is. If they're seeing well but not reading, then it's going to evolve their learning abilities. Many children that have come to our program have not had a clear definition of what are the functions and what are the levels where that damage has occurred. Now it seems perfectly crystal clear what was going on. So we're looking at each stage of development. And we measure that. We give them a child a neurological age and we evaluate against his chronological age. And they found that even though he was 12, he was at a nine-year-old level. I had, instead of a five-year-old, I had a two-year-old. And from that functional analysis, they determined where the problem was. Then we can target the treatment to that level of injury and help the child. And then we design a neurological program specifically designed for that particular child. Four months into the program, we were already seeing a different child. We design a solution, we modify the solution, and every six months we continually change the program. Every time we go and they tell us he progressed 200%, he progressed 220. And just in his social skills, he's gained 30 months in nine months. It's big leaps in such a short time. Which means that Stephen is getting better. Our results are measured. And our results are measured by the WeFIM. The WeFIM is short for the Functional Independence Measure. The WeFIM is the largest pediatric tool in the world today to measure results of rehabilitation. So we're able to compare our results to the results of, um, of other, other programs and other similar programs. And that's not done by us, but we just put the data in. And our results are 200 to 300% better than the national average. Most of the children that come to us are significantly worse off than the national average. They often get the worst of the worst. And we still have 300% growth. The Family Hope Center is made up of people who really want to help kids. They really care. It's their mission in life. We're driven as a team to help families. I think it says so in the name. It's family, it's hope. I love the emphasis on family. The whole family's involved. And that's really important because when Hannah was born, we didn't want everything to always just be about her. This Family Hope Center is a family hope center. It's not the child hope center, it's the family hope center. When I see kids get well, that makes, you know, I wanna get up at four o'clock every morning. They're very humble people for all the good they do. I'm always looking for ways I can help more. 
it's just totally exhilarating to just see these kids being able to do something they were not able to do just six months ago. I mean, they're always there for us. Anytime I've had a question, I've got an answer. And so for me, personally, it's a dream come true. Thank you.